The energy, electric. The tensions, outstanding. The reward, exclusively enjoyable to one team. Wellington versus Fort Pierce Central for a trip to Tampa in the state semifinals. And shout out to the Cobra Boys football team for showing up to the crib to support their crew. You guys know who it is. You guys know what this is all about. Let's dive straight into the action as the Wellington Wolverines would systematically work the ball down the field on their first possession to get within striking distance. And then check this out by QB Keelan Coleman. She had me confused with that pump fake, but then finds her target Samantha Ellis in the end zone for the first score of the game. The Wolverines would miss their extra point to put them up just 6-0. Moving into the second quarter, the Cobras start to mount a drive of their own, and then Serenity Marte says, You got lost! Fort Pierce Central ties it up, but in the extra point, Adrian Rivera can't find anyone, then says, I'll do it myself. Runs it in to take the lead for the Cobras 7-6. to six. Into halftime and for all of the third quarter, defense dominated. We saw big time sacks and batted balls from T Chance for Central, but the real matchup was on the outside between Marte and Angelia Bystrong. And after the first touchdown, Bystrong was giving up nothing for the rest of the game. To the middle of the fourth quarter, Wellington forces a three and out from Central to take over in their own territory. And then the comeback drive ensued. First big play to Avery Schroeder on the outside. Next up, Coleman finds Jordan Fernandez over the middle for a big gain. Finally, a few plays later, Coleman rolls out, heaves a ball downfield, and finds the freshman Mia Shizak, who hauls it in, dives over the plane, and gets the touchdown. She had the first big play for Wellington earlier this week against Seminole Ridge, and then she gets the massive go-ahead score against Central. This was the only ball thrown to her all game, and she sure made it count. Fort Pierce Central takes over with plenty of time, but the Wolverine defense was not giving any room. Here again, Bystrong breaking apart what was going to be a first down, but not tonight. Wellington would take over on downs, run the ball enough to use all of Central's timeouts, and then Schroeder once again gets the jet sweep, shakes and bakes up the sideline, and picks up the ceiling first down. And I truly cannot call the winning moment better than the Wellington assistant head coach. The Wellington Wolverines are heading to the state semifinals after defeating Fort Pierce Central 12 to seven. They will face either Palmetto, Leonard, or Pace at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility next Saturday, May 10th. Here's the Wolverines head coach, Robert Colovi, attempting to put his emotions into words. It's been a lot of hard work for me, from the girls, from everyone involved, and it's, it's, it's surreal that it's, it's, all of that work has finally come together. I'm just excited that we got another week together. It's a group I, I, I adore spending time with, and they make the job fun. Um, so I'm just excited I got another week with them. Shout out to Duffy Sports Girl for sponsoring this video. Duffy's, our game is always on. 